Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to Wix Wiz. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pass data from your page to a light box or a pop-up. And this is extremely useful in any situation where you don't want to create a thousand pop-ups, you just want one pop-up that will dynamically change, uh, sorry, dynamically change based on the data that's being passed to it from the page. Uh, and I'm going to be doing two demonstrations, one with an input, and one with a repeater. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is to create our pop-up or light box. And we can do that over here by clicking Add and then going down to Interactive. And here we have just different um, light boxes that we can add. So for example, if I just add the Welcome light box, and the first and most important thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of the light box. So I'm going to go over here and go to rename. And I'm going to change this to data demo, let's call it. And then right over here, I'm just going to get rid of all of this text. And I'm just going to leave one text box here in the middle. And let's expand that a little bit. And I'll just center the text. Excellent. So now let's talk a little bit about the API. So in order to send data to a light box, we have to do two things. Uh, and both of them are using this Wix window uh, API. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open our light box from Velo using this open light box command. Okay. And when we open our light box, we are going to pass data to it right over here. Okay, you see here where it says data object. So that's what we're going to be using in order to pass data to our light box. So let's go ahead and copy this code. And I'm going to close the light box for now. And I'm going to go ahead and add the code snippet right over here. So I'm just going to control paste and cut this and put this within our on ready function. Okay, so as you see here, this data object is not defined yet because that's the data that we're going to be passing through. And in the first demonstration, what I want to do is pass in the data uh, the value of this input box when I click send. So let's call this um, input box, I'm going to call it whatever we want, and this we'll call send button. And basically what I'm going to do is that whenever someone clicks the send button, so send button, let me just uh, zoom in a little bit here so you can see better. Just close this up. <clears throat> and I'll move this up. Excellent. So send button dot on click. When somebody clicks on that, let's just get the value of the input. So let's say const input will be equal to, um, let's get that element, so input box dot value. And now, essentially, we want this input to be the data that we're passing into our light box. So I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to put it here right inside of our on click event. So essentially, what this does is two things. One, it opens the light box, and then it passes the data object. So first, let's use the name of the light box. So this would be data demo that we just gave it to it before. And here is going to be input. Okay, so this is the data that we're now passing into our light box. And the next thing that we need to do is to deal with how we receive that data inside the light box. So let's go over here um, to view all of our pages and uh, go all the way down. We can see our light boxes here. I'm going to click on data demo. And just like a regular page, also a light box, you can add Velo code to. And what we're going to need to do is use, uh, if we go over here to light box, we're going to need to use this get context method. Okay, so when we see, use get context, it actually returns the data object that was passed into the light box. Okay, so what we need to do is basically just use this code snippet here. So I'm going to copy this right over and paste it right over here. 
And this needs to be inside of the onReady function. So I'm going to copy that over, get rid of all this boilerplate code, and whoa, and put that right over here. Okay, so we have our import of Wix window, and we have our received data. Okay, so the received data in this case case will be our uh, the value of the input that we received. So let's just display it here in our um, in our light box. So I'm going to say, uh, let's call this, uh, so here it's just called text2. Um, let's call it data display. Okay, and I'm going to say data display dot text will be equal to received data. Okay, so let's uh, test it out. So I am going to um, put it, us in preview mode, but one thing I'm going to do beforehand is I'm just going to set the triggers for this uh, light box. So I'm going to go here to set triggers, and I'm going to change this from automatically displays light box on pages from yes to no. That way our pop-up won't open automatically, only when we click that button for the input. Uh, usually I forget to do that. Luckily, I remember this time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit mode and head into preview mode. So let's zoom out a little bit. And I'm just going to type here into the light box, hello world, and click send. And here our light box opened, and you can see here it says hello world. So basically I pass data from our page to our light box. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to show you how we can pass data back. Okay, so we have data from our page to our light box. Now let's say I want to pass data back to our page. So I'm going to go back to the editor and I am going to exit mode. I'm just going to copy over this input box and the send button and copy them to our light box. So let's go back and open our light box again. And I'm just going to put this right over here. Okay, this will let us send a message back uh, from our light box to our page. And let's go ahead and see how that's done. So here they have uh, several demonstrations and basically um, the way that we pass data from the light box back is that we have to close the light box using this close method. Okay, so Wix window dot light box dot close. And when we uh, use the close method, we pass in a data object. And that data object is received as the um, promise of open light box on the other end. Okay, so let's see where they have a full demonstration, right? So here they're using open light box and then dot then data is what executes when the light box is closed. Okay, and I'm going to use uh, async await over here. So basically we're going to go back to our page and <clears throat> here. So in uh, demo data, okay, so here we, sorry, this is our light box. Okay, so let's deal with what happens when we close our light box. So I'm going to go and say send button, pretty much just like we did uh, on our page. So send button, let me zoom in again. Close this, excellent. Send button dot on click. And then we're going to say Wix window dot light box dot close. <clears throat> Sorry. And I'm going to pass in the data, which will be const input equals to input box dot value. And this is what we're going to pass in when we close the window. Now we can head back to our page. So I'm going to exit mode here. And back on our page, what we need to do is now deal with the data that we received. Okay, so just need the page to load. 
Uh, let me try zooming out a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, there's our code. And okay, excellent. Make this a little smaller. Great. So now we need to deal with getting the data back. So as I said, this ha happens when in the promise that's uh, returned from Open Lightbox. So there's two approaches to this. So one would be to do like they have in the demo, right? To write here dot then. And then here we have data. And here we can do something with the data. What I'm going to be doing is using async await. So I'm going to actually make this on click async. And I'm going to say const data from lightbox equals await wix window that open lightbox. So then essentially this is going to be the data that comes back. And I'm going to say that when the data comes back, I'm just going to change the value of the input box to that. Okay. So I'm going to say input box dot value equals to data from lightbox. Okay, and you really have to keep track of what the data, sorry, I wrote lightbox instead of lightbox, what data is coming back. So here I know that I'm passing just a string, but if you're passing an object, then you might have to treat it differently. If it's a number, you might have to treat it differently. Okay, you don't have to pass a string here. It can be more complex data. And now let's just go ahead into preview mode and check it out. Great, so now we're in preview mode and I'm gonna write something to the light box. I'm gonna say, hello there, and open the light box. Now we have here, hello there. And now I'm gonna say, hello back and click send. So our light box closed and here it says, hello back now. Okay, so because it's the data that we received back from the light box. Okay, so that's how to set up a basic back and forth between a page and a light box. Now what I want to do is just give you a little bonus demonstration of how this would look inside of a repeater, uh, because I think that this is a common use case. Uh, for example, you have a repeater with lots of different uh, data points, and you want to, for example, when you click on one part of the repeater, to open a light box that reflects just that specific part of the repeater. So in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is just set up this repeater very basically. So I'm going to say, uh, what did we call this? This is just called repeater, I think repeater one. So let's call this important repeater. I don't really have anything better to call it. And then I'm just going to call this container. Do I need to call this container something? Yeah, I'm going to call this container. Um, let's call this background. And this will just be text. Text. Let's see if I have that. No. Okay, excellent. So now I'm going to say that I'm just going to set up important repeater. <clears throat> Let me zoom in a little bit. So this is a basic just on item ready for the repeater. And here we're going to have item and we're going to have item data. And now we need to decide what we're doing with um, the data that goes into the repeater. So first let's just populate the text boxes. So let's say text dot text will be equal to item data dot text. Okay. And then for each background, uh, make sure to use item here and not W. So this is the key here, really for each background on click, we're going to open our light box and we're going to send in the item data. Okay. So let's say, uh, we could just actually just copy this, let's say. Okay, open Lightbox, and here we're going to pass in item data. So all the data of that specific 
um, repeater item, and it could be even data that's not being displayed in the repeater, like I'll show you in a moment. Okay, and let's construct our data. So let's say const um, mock data. So this will be equal to an array, and inside of its array, we'll have objects. So text, and let's just write some mumbo jumbo, and here we'll have a number. Okay, so we're going to have three of these. So text number, and let's make two more of these objects. I'm going to put two more mock objects over here and just change the text and change the numbers. Okay, so this is just some mock data, you know, as if you have data populating the repeater. And as you can see, some of the data is displayed in the repeater, but some of it is not. And then I'm going to go ahead and just populate the repeater with this data. Dot data equals to mock data. Okay, so now if we head into preview and just zoom out a bit, Oh, I forgot to do one small thing. <laughs> we have to handle the data that's passed through. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think it'll display anyways. Uh, oh, okay. One thing I forgot to do is add an ID. So when we're creating data for a repeater, each one has to have an ID. So let's say ID, and it needs to be a string. So let's just copy this over. And they need to be unique. So let's just make different IDs here. Okay. And while I'm still back in the editing mode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our data demo. And I'm going to actually console. Bum, 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 bum. Not letting me enter. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to say console.log received data and then received data. Okay, this is just to see, show you what data came through. And then let's head back into preview mode. And for some reason, oh, because I, okay, so here's our repeater. And you can see that we have our different text data here. And let's say, oh, I want to learn more about Jivalubu. Okay, so I click over here. And then we have our light box. And this, you can see here, the text did not change. That's because I tried to pass a data object into, sorry, an object basically into a text. Uh, box so that didn't work. But if we go over here and we take a look at received data, then you can see that we got past this specific item's data. So the ID, the text, and the number of that specific item. And you can imagine that if this was a collection, uh, sorry, a repeater that you're populating with a collection that has lots of information, and you're displaying only part of the information in the repeater, and then you can use the light box to display additional information using the full uh, data from that item. Okay, so that is the end of this tutorial about passing data to and from a light box. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.